Welcome back to The Graham Stephan Show. My name is Graham and welcome to my show. And a few months ago, I reacted to a video of a day in the life of a software engineer that works from home and it was very realistic. But today, that same person uploaded a brand new video of a day in the life of a software engineer that goes into the office and it's also realistic. So with that said, guys, we got to watch this video from Sarah Pan because her editing is absolutely fantastic. She's a great storyteller and you guys got to see this because it's going to be a good one right after, of course, you like the video and subscribe. Just got to hit that little subscribe button. It's free. It costs you nothing. It's free. Thank you guys so much. And now let's begin. And I forgot her videos are like a, like a Casey Neistat vlog. Why is it always everyone in New York City has those sorts of edits? Like they have to go there to make these cinematic videos. Uh, you don't see this coming from uh, Florida. It's always New York. My work makeup routine has slowly regressed the longer I've worked here. So I have no idea if that is a product of my laziness or just my comfort level around my coworkers. But here is my very quick 10 minute makeup routine. Yeah, that's something that I definitely take for granted. It's like, hey, when I wake up in the morning, I hop in the shower, just towel dry, throw on a shirt. It's, it's usually a shirt that's just like sitting there, done. Five minutes, six minutes tops. Uh, oh, you know what? Actually, you guys would be proud of me for this. I started, uh, sounds stupid, I started moisturizing, you know? I, I, I started looking at myself and I'm like, ah, I'm starting to age. I, I'm getting the, 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 the wrinkles, the lines around my eyes, I hate it. And uh, yeah, Macy told me, hey, Graham, just moisturize, it'll help. So uh, yeah, started moisturizing and uh, I will age backwards now. So just watch that, I'm gonna get younger. It usually takes me about 25 minutes to get to work, but I feel like I can't complain just because I don't have any transfers. And so it's basically 20 minutes of me sitting on a subway and listening to music or listening to a podcast. That's actually not terrible. I mean, that's a thing when I, when I was commuting in Los Angeles, going to and from the office, like you, you gotta be there sitting in the car. It's not like you could really be texting or anything like that. At least with this, you're able to, to do something, be productive, sit there, not have to worry about like keeping your hands on a steering wheel, pay attention to traffic. So it's not terrible. Once I got into the office, I just went directly to one of my favorite cafes that basically looks like it belongs on a Pinterest board somewhere. Wow, that looks expensive. There's, there's no way they're serving $3 cold brew coffees there. That, that minimum $6.50. I did wait in the crepe stand and I got a very quick Nutella crepe and this was my 9.30 a.m. breakfast. Wait a second, this your office breakfast? Wait, hold, hold up, let me rewind. Once I got into the office, I just went directly to one of my favorite cafes. I got this totally wrong. That's free? She gets this for free. This, this, this is a perk for going into the office? Are you kidding me? I want that. I would go into the office every day. I take food to go for a home. Like I, straight up, I, I wouldn't ever pay for groceries anymore. I would literally just be in the office seven days a week, take food home to go, breakfast, lunch, and dinner. I, it's good. Oh my gosh. Oh, that seems so chill. Just imagine just going into a cafeteria every morning, free food, post-op, be on the computer, check emails, seems nice. This is pretty much it. Um, I know it is super depressing, but I also don't come in enough to decorate this. And then this morning was just me working on some code that I had been fixing up for the last couple of days. Look at the keyboard, it splits in the middle. It's got to be like some hyper focus stuff going on there, like extra productivity. Mornings are usually pretty chill since our PM and UX that we work with are on West Coast time. So most of our meetings are after 10 a.m., which I really appreciate. And as a result, mornings also tend to be the most productive time for me. Me too. I find that I get my best work done between like 8 o'clock in the morning and usually noon. Afternoon, it's like I generally tend to slow down just a little bit, but that morning burst of energy, there's nothing like it. I actually, I, I get a lot of energy in the morning and then randomly late at night. Like not every night, but sometimes it'll be like 10 p.m. I'll be just like wired and just like, oh, I want to keep working. Um, not always, but uh, generally the morning, Almost every morning I'm just on it, focused. It has hit lunchtime and my team had decided to go to a neighboring office building for lunch. And since I was eating with my team, I didn't really get to film much, but I did get some sushi and this is basically what I had for lunch. What? They serve that for lunch? This is like a gourmet restaurant food. Like this is like 30 bucks for every plate you get. Again, I would, 
I'd have a weight problem for sure because I would just, I would go in there and be like, well, it's free, so I may as well just eat as much as I possibly can consume. Uh, it would be hard for me to burn that off, I have to say. Like, I, I have an issue with all you can eat sushi because I want to make it so worth it that, like, I, I, I want the restaurant to lose money on me walking in. Like, I come in, like, oh man, Graham's here again. He's going to clean us out. Because I, I like feeling like I'm getting a deal. This would be troubling for me. Here is some filler clips of me working, but I basically spent an hour just trying to debug this issue that I was having with my local testing environment. Look at the mouse. Everything she has is like from the future. That seems so weird to be like clicking on the side. I hate that. But I ended up getting that to work, so I felt a little bit better. Oh, this Hint Waters are delicious. They're expensive though. You have to buy them in bulk, but they are good. It's like, it's water with a slight hint of fruit. If you put it that way, it's not like overwhelmingly sweet, but it's just enough where you know something's there. Then for a change of scenery, I went down to the fourth floor to one of the cafes that was still open and I got an iced chai latte. My go-to in the past has always been matcha lattes, but recently one of my coworkers put me on chai and I've been getting at least one a day whenever I come into the office, which- Oh my God, her camera was slipping. I thought that was like a cool effect. Like she had the camera on like a gimbal that was like moving back or something like that. Then I spent a couple of minutes just wondering when my own bird of paradise would get this big. But yeah, long story short, I worked here for a bit and then thought about my plans. This seems like a really cool office. Wherever she works, it seems like the chillest place. They allow their employees to make YouTube videos, kind of work wherever, get free food. It's not bad, it seems really nice. I got a little bit hungry since I didn't eat too much for lunch. So I went to the 14th floor since that was the only cafe that was still open and had food. Oh my gosh, they basically got a sweet greens for free. How? They, they must be making so much money that they could provide this. Just Or you know what, maybe it's for the entire building and they split it, I don't know. They could work there? What, again, I would, I would just find a place that's close to work and be at the office all the time. Like, I wouldn't leave the office. I, I do everything. There. At this point, I should probably say that 90% of the time I don't usually get a second lunch, but today I was just really hungry and the salad also looked pretty darn good. Before I left, I just grabbed some drinks and snacks from the micro kitchen. Oh, again, I'd just be taking this stuff to go. I'd, I'd go there with just a, a grocery cart and just, <laughs> just take everything. It looks so good. They got all the hints. They got all the hints. My day as a software engineer is pretty much just sitting at a computer and working. Most of the time there's a forest fire or 10 things happening at once in my head. Things are breaking left to right, tests are failing. So whatever I present to you, just know that this is the digestible version of what an actual day is like as a software engineer. Yeah, I'm definitely sure it's not that easy. Otherwise, everyone would be a software engineer. I mean, there's a lot of people being software engineers, but and you have to be really good at what you do, but yeah, I guarantee she's putting in the hours. Once it hit around 5.30, I wrapped up my work and headed to dinner. I grabbed a to-go box and then waited in line. You can get a to-go box. This place keeps getting better. Wow, you can get fish to go. So in order to get to the elevators from this particular cafe, you have to walk down this super eerie hallway. And so I did make it out alive. <laughs> but after that, I just took the subway home, which was about half an hour. And I ended up making it back home. It'd be so nice. I'd just be watching YouTube videos in the subway, eating my free dinner that I took to go from work, getting home, and then I start working again. But anyway, it just seems so nice. Once I got home, I just put my food in the fridge because I did have a therapy session. I only recently started this, so I think this was my fourth session, but I've been trying to value my own mental health a lot more recently. I've mentioned this in my other vlogs, but lately I've been pretty overwhelmed with my work and my YouTube 
and maintaining relationships with people that I care about because honestly, sometimes it can be pretty darn hard. That's great. You know what? I think people should be more open about that and uh, just the benefits I think of therapy are, are so tremendous that I think Everybody should at least experience it at one point. Uh, you know, no matter what you're going through or if it's something that, uh, you know, maybe you're trying to figure out for yourself, doesn't matter. I think it can be helpful to really work on yourself. So whatever money you spend on that, you'll generally make it back in almost every other area. It's worth it. I think work nights are still pretty busy for me. So I try to offload a lot of my fun life activities to the weekends. But if you consider watching Netflix as fun, this is basically me finishing up my food and having fun watching TV. Yeah, I kind of do the same thing as well. Usually weekdays, it's like the markets are open, things are happening. I try to cram as much in as I can and then weekends will take slower. Usually with most weekends, it'll take two half days. So I love like my perfect weekend, wake up early, work until like 12 to one or two, rest of the night off, then do the same thing on Sunday, rest of the night off, then get back to it on Monday. I love that. Only Murders in the Building, a great show. And uh, oh, there's gonna be a new episode tomorrow. Every Tuesday, there's a new episode of Only Murders in the Building, I love it. Uh, it's actually, we're coming up to the last episode. So that means you could officially binge it all the way through instead of waiting every week like I did. Honestly, the rest of the night was just me editing. So that is basically a day in my life as a software engineer. If you guys are interested, I've been thinking of filming more day in my life videos or even work vlogs since that is pretty much 80% of my days. And honestly, I sometimes scramble to even put together vlogs of me doing other things so yeah let me know if you guys would be interested and i hope you guys are having a wonderful day i love it great video this seems to me like the dream career i think anybody watching this who's looking for something to uh to do with their life hey you know be a software engineer in new york city it seems so nice i don't know how much money she's making probably a decent amount judging by the place she's working but Man, those perks are fantastic. So with that said, guys, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. As always, make sure to add me on Instagram. Thank you so much for watching, and until next time.